We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Connor Williams, Miami Dolphins center, looking at, you know, the first three weeks and why he's so vitally important to this team. We could finally see it from that Bills game when Eichenberg had to play, really what he meant. I think that's one of the bigger positives. You can now see how important Connor Williams was to this team because he got a lot of flack for the, you know, the snaps over the first few games, which is definitely still an issue and a thing to be concerned about, but he's such a better blocker, which is so much more important, you know, rather have a, you know, a couple bad snaps that might ruin a drive or something than someone that can't block for the entire game. But Williams out there making a difference in pass protection and run blocking, as you can see right here off the rip, the very similar scheme that they used in the Bills game. They did it, they've done it multiple times, but where they run the play action and they have Hunt pull across and then the center has to slide to this um, defensive tackle right here who's run uh, like a two eye and just block him one on one and we saw Eichenberg get beat there and give up pressure give up sacks and that that exact same scenario Williams just has so much better athleticism gets the angle there to get perfectly off the ball you can see him explode really nice base bend at the knees active hands he's just so much more powerful and everything here the body lean it's just exactly what you want from a technical standpoint not getting too overextended, and then I'm just driving, holding his point of attack, giving him time to throw the ball down the field, and then someone like Tyreek will come wide open. Williams also makes a huge impact in the running game on these tosses. Just getting to the second level and blocking linebackers on the move is super impressive here on this Mostert 50 yard, 15 yard run. And just, he's not covered to the side of this. He blocks him one on one, and he's just able to climb. And also, like, good work here. Getting skinny. He doesn't want to get on this 2 eye. He wants to be able to cut this guy off because he has a leverage advantage here. If he gets skinny, dip that shoulder underneath, almost rip through, throw that elbow back. It's almost like he's pass rushing with how he treated the defensive lineman. And then get off to the right angle, and now he's in a perfect spot. Drive, sustain that block, get hands into the chest. Um, Williams can have a little bit of a holding problem. I think he had two holds in this Broncos game which, you know, are things you don't want to like or you don't want to see. But other than that, he was absolutely been dominant in these first three weeks. I think he's, I mean, I don't really use PFF, but I think he's pretty highly rated on their site, which um, I can definitely see why, because he's been playing really well as a blocker in both pass protection and as a run blocker. Another example on the toss has to do with this same thing, cut off this linebacker, but this linebacker with gets a little bit of a you know, leverage advantage there, a little bit quicker to the ball, and this time he just drives him away. Sometimes you just use these guys and run them against him. Like it looks like 49, he has this leverage advantage, but right at the snap, he cheats over with that motion. So he's basically going to be head up with Williams right as the ball snapped, and he explodes out of that stance, gets down the field. His um, lateral quickness there, first step explosiveness for Williams, you just want to see that burst off the ball. When you're uncovered like this, boom, and he takes a great angle. I love the angle he takes here off his first step to really get out in space to get on 49. And 49 is like, oh, don't want to get... You know entangled with this so he tries hard to get to the outside of Williams now Williams just drives him and uh, HN can work off the back pick up an extra 10-15 yards down the field because he's able to get to that second level so nicely Connor Williams again like just having him back helps everyone like Isaiah it helps Isaiah win it helps Robert Hunt it helps the entire offensive line like I think in the game the tackles played pretty fine like Armstead Lamb Jackson they all played pretty solid games but I think it was Isaiah wins and Robert Hunt's most struggle of a game because they've been pretty done they were pretty dominant through the first three weeks but having Eichenberg next to him you can tell it was more of a struggle so just having him back helps the entire interior offensive line another good block here like having to like they're doing another toss this time he has to reach the 2i pretty you know tough ass and he's able to do it get his hips across he almost like ends up because Craycraft is um chipping on this guy uh crack back blocking and he's able to hold him off this guy gets like caught underneath him and he's still able to extend that hand over the top and uh, seal that guy away far enough th so they have no chance to pursue to h hand just high level blocking his movement skills are looking amazing at center i like to see when people win in different ways this time this guy jumps off sides and is able to shoot up field and he still just does his job like they pick up 17 yards they get the off sides penalty just because this guy gets a head start and is able to shoot up this A-gap and he knows they're trying to hit this wind back. So it almost ends up working out perfectly. And he's like, well, that's exactly kind of where I wanted you to be anyway. So now I'm just going to kick you out, drive you out of the way. And then they find that cutback lane. Just heads up, quick thinking, playmaking ability there from Connor. Here's one of the holds. It's a tough ask for Connor Williams where he has to get out there. We saw Eichenberg lose in these exact situations. So, it's, I mean, these can be tough ass. They were a little closer for Liam. I mean, for here, it looked... They're sliding to the right, and he has to go out and block a four technique, which is a very tough ask. He's just not able to get there on this one, and so instead, you know, letting him have a free run, he gets a little bit of a hold. Um, 
pretty subtle one too like even though he hooks him around he doesn't hold him on for too long and they don't get the completion here so these are just things you got to work on but i would rather have him get the holding than get absolutely destroyed and beat and then get uh to a hit or pressured because you know sometimes you can get away with those holdings but you can't get away with them getting the sack on your quarterback it just changed the entire offense with liam eikenberg in the game because they did so many rollouts to the left just less of this just a quick play action hit your back foot find the throw deep down the middle um tyreek's down he's just running right here but just getting one-on-ones they just didn't trust liam to have like any one-on-ones and then it would leave guards isolated and it was just not a great look but here he just jumps out and attacks this too with wind pulling across hunt even comes to help but he's very active fights resets those hands is able to anchor here pretty nice play strength hunt comes to help him throw him across and then even connor throws another shoulder into the other defensive end just being active out there really like to see that from the entire interior line and while i think connor's been pretty solid pretty good in pass protection he's always just been that run blocker i feel like him and hunt together when they're working some combos or you know that's where the biggest runs happen here they both do their job a lot of the biggest runs this season have been behind them williams climbs to the linebacker hunt is able to seal his guy off and it just creates a big lane everyone else does their job as well williams climbing to second level and then this guy tries to break to the inside and he's just like well i'm just gonna seal you off give you enough time and then mostert's able to break this for the touchdown here we get to see connor out in space on this screen second and 19 situation everyone on the screen here austin jackson robert hunt connor williams they all go out and get a guy out in space this is not easy for offensive linemen to do on a consistent level we see him miss it all the time they're looking for work he sees that like the numbers jackson has here hunt has here so he starts to you know look off to his left find the safety and is able to cut him off get into it really nice job of just sealing him off using your body your leverage which allows waddle to pick up extra yards pick up 28 on a second and 19 situation really like the mental processing that williams brings because first of all power at the point of attack and just understanding situations this is a big barrios play down the field where they end up scoring right after right before half and this is just important they're sliding to the right off this ball he sees how 90 plays this how he works into the right guard and when this happens Gotta understand, like, guys try to loop around on these stunts, these twists, things like that. Just understanding the situation. So he's able to throw this off to the side and look at him get his head up. He's looking for it. He feels like with how nice he's playing this, that's exactly what's coming. That's good heads up football play. And he th is able to throw it off, perfectly time this, throw this to hunt. And as he throws it off, still help him out and then get his hands late and just completely stun that. Really good power at the point of attack. Good mental processing. And that's just amazing, amazing play there from Connor Williams. Some more processing. This is stuff I like to see. Some of my favorite things to see offensive linemen do is pick up the twists and stunts, make it look easy. They haven't faced a ton this year, but when they did, specifically versus the Patriots, because teams haven't been running it because they get the ball out so quickly, they don't really have time to do twists and stunts. But Patriots were attempting it and just they were picking it up like it was nothing. So just having them in there, that chemistry between the interior offensive linemen, super important. I think, you know, with this group of three, it's just much better. If you miss one, then you're going to, you know, definitely take a hit, especially if the backup's Eichenberg. But just really good job passing this off. Active hands. Throw it off there. Knows it's coming to 90. Like, even without even looking at it. Like, look at him. He's throwing this, and without even looking for 90, he already is throwing that off before he gets back to the other side, and then they get the long completion down the field to Jalen Waddle. This is a really impressive reach here from Connor and Williams and, like, cut off on this play because this is the one where they get huge, you know, penetration on the Robert Hunt play and he has to make some people miss in the backfield and he's still able to cut his guy off for a really long time like 95 he gets the nose explode off the ball now in a good spot hands into chest he's straining right here and now you just want to get your hips across good hip fluidity get that all the way across now he's in complete control and with most are having to make like two guys miss in the backfield he's still able to just seal him off cut this guy and 95 never got even close to the play which a play where he had way more time than usual that's a high level block from Connor Williams that ability to s sustain those or climb to the second level in the running game has really really helped his offense along most of run Connor does a really good job on this play as well I mean this is mostly this is like a Robert Hunt highlight Robert Hunt just absolutely dominated this rep but it's some combo work from Connor up close just getting some help one-on-one -on -one with the nose tackle able to cut him off use that right arm with the help of Hunt to really torque him to the side and now gets in his positioning cuts him off get your hips where you want to be and hunts able to get to the second level to cut off the linebacker and just creates a huge hole safety doesn't take the perfect angle and it's a touchdown 
that if you guys can just block if they can block up front like that with the running backs on this team all they need is one guy to make one tiny mistake and they'll get these long runs and that's why you've seen so many more long runs this season compared to last i like this play as well working down on the combo and then recognizing the linebacker coming off late and just getting you know your hands on both long enough for Mostert to squeeze through that hole pretty nice rep here even though it's not perfectly played he attacks the low hip move 95 out of the way just long enough extend those hands and even though they don't have this perfectly worked here he has to you know get enough on nine here too to throw him off to the inside and he did just enough on both for Mostert to get skinny through the hole and run through some arm tackles that's pretty good work from Connor Williams could be cleaner but I like to see him being active out there and at least throwing his bodies on guys just watching Connor Williams run block this is the last play that I'm gonna break down this is he also gets helps a nice block to seal it for a touchdown but it's just more Mostert doing the work but this one just absolutely beautiful they put a nose on him and he makes it look easy if they just need him to reach you know on some outside zone lead mid zone whatever it is if he needs to cut off the guy it's gonna be too easy if he's head up like this if he has a leverage advantage or they're both even Williams is athletic enough to get there if he's a one tech and he has the leverage advantage to the play side but he's covered here so he's just one-on-one -on -one. get to your side explode off that ball cut him off get that right hand into that like under the head shoulder pad or armpit armpit area and then able to strain get your hips across and like look how long he's able to contain this for because Mostert has to work off the back of the full black full back make a cut and then make another cut to get behind him and Williams is just sealing that off the entire time for Raheem to get to the second level these are really high level run blocks Hunt's doing great work that's why a lot of these runs come off the back of Connor Williams and Hunt either hitting that A or B gap to their side of the field and they're both doing an amazing job need them both out there for sure if he can play um, over these next if he can play the rest of the season, they really, really need that because Liam Meikenberg is was struggling. He was the biggest liability on the field, in my opinion. So if you guys know the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in